testing today um, and I have to say that was, was pretty awesome what do you think <laughs> that was a lot of fun definitely a little <laughs> nerve-wracking but well yeah it's, it's got to be nerve-wracking when you're flying something that is what we estimated like with all that PV gear car over maybe two grand ish over a thousand at least yeah yeah so um, so yeah it was a lot of fun you were able to to go in through brick wall and mm -hmm. find our two victims mm -hmm. Um, so thanks Nick and Ivan for being our victims. And uh, we'll have to come up with a different scenario that'll be a little bit easier for us to kind of maneuver around for the, uh, the guys in a couple weeks. And so he'll be presenting to uh, some bomb squad and some SWAT team members of Northern Colorado and um, see what they think about it. But other than that, what's the flight time we got with all this weight? Um, with all this extra weight, I mean, we're about four minutes-ish. Um, so not ideal, but it's doable. At least for the demonstration. Right. And we, yeah, demonstration and concept. And then what yeah. about um, your, your car was fine in terms of, but the range. We were having some issues with the range. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on with that? Um, in terms of how far we're getting? Yeah. Um, with the car, I think in terms of FPV, we're, what did you say, 200-ish or yeah. so? Yeah. About 200 feet. Um, and that's outdoors. Inside, it's obviously a lot less. Right. 
and then the helicopter is just about the same? Yeah, we're going to be right about the same with that. So if we were to do this for reals, um, for reals, if we were to actually take this to um, application, mm -hmm. you would actually have to probably go up to that 600 mark or Yeah, we'd have more. to get a lot higher power equipment, um, get some long range systems in here. Right, and we're just trying to stay within the FAA rules. It's that 25 megawatt, I think it is. Right, I mean, we're, right. we're playing with like 50, 100 feet, really. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it should be enough to at least show the guys that come on, mm -hmm. on Wednesday um, what it's capable of doing, and, and um, it should be a lot of fun. So yeah. It'd be interesting to see what they have to say. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> should be a good good experience. Um, you did a lot of this with your dad, right? Yeah. And that definitely, was cool. Definitely. So right before you got to go for college, you got to spend some time <laughs> with your dad. Yep. I'm sure there was some pretty... Uh, some crazy moments trying to get all this thing together because this is your cage and you haven't we haven't talked about the cage yet so yeah yeah talk about the cage um basically i think it's uh let's see it's 16th 16th inch aluminum um just bended it on a break and then drilled obviously a lot of holes out trying to get as much weight out of it as possible it looks awesome it's like <laughs> an erector set flying in the, in the yeah that's pretty much what it is that's pretty cool and then you're going to have some sort of servo latch system that goes on the front yeah, on on this side. Oh, on the back side? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, so just like open up. Yeah. So it'll be be some similar to like a gate in the back here. Keep it in, and then when you're ready to leave, it'll drop. Awesome. Will that be on this radio, or will that be on that? Um, radio? probably on the the quads radio. Okay. Cool, man. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see how this thing does with those guys, and um, you know, to do this all year once again. I mean, that's that's a big big accomplishment. <laughs> And um, you're looking forward to are you looking forward to giving this off to next year's guys? <laughs> it, it'll be a little tough after after all the hours of blood and sweat and tears we put into this, but but definitely you know looking forward to giving it to these guys and hopefully they can turn it into something new and something great. Yeah, I mean we got uh, Jepson is already thinking about doing some sort of tracking quad and yeah, yeah. Um, that might require a pretty big device on it. So he's already got his. <laughs> He's already got his uh, quad already made for us. It's pretty much just kind of going from there. And then, I mean, that's going to be pretty cool to see how many years this thing goes. Yeah, hopefully it'll it'll last a while. Right, because this is built goal. like a tank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Well, Danny, thanks uh, for bringing this and showing us to, to the uh, viewers and to leaving this project, you know, going on for the next couple of generations. And uh, you definitely left your mark. So we wish Danny good luck next week with the uh, bomb squad and the SWAT team. And uh, thanks for watching.